hello fellow hobbies and uh, today i am going to show you a project that i did a few years ago uh, which is a single board computer based on uh, 6502 microprocessor and uh, this is a single board, board computer which you can program using the uh, this uh, address bits and this is the data bus control and uh, so in this video i am going to show you the working uh, give you an example how to program this single board computer and uh, give you an overview of the hardware architecture of the board this is a completely home made computer so in this computer uh, first of all uh, the current program that we are running is uh, kind of a led chaser program so you can look uh, these four LEDs, they are uh, like uh, this is a chaser. So even though we have another of the, so let me just halt the computer and uh, this is the clock pulse LED and we can change the frequency using this variable register this is a triple five ic so the whole clock module is based on the triple five ic and uh, let me show you like this so this is the button which holds the computer if you want to put it in the running running mode or you want to hold all the execution this is the on off switch so which can be used to turn off and on and this is the reset uh, signal IRQ signal this is our 6502 uh, WDC uh, they were uh, means uh, they were not being made for many years but a few years back I guess in 2018 or 19 uh, the manufacturing started again of the dual inline package IC of the microprocessor this is the our RAM IC some logic and these are the buffer ICs which helps to load and unload the uh, data or the address so and this is the button uh, which is used to load the uh, which is used to load the um, particular memory <coughs> so <coughs> let us first start with the and this is this is a detachable board that uh, i have designed just for the just for having a test study of how uh, we can interact with other circuit modules so let us first start with the simple program uh, for example uh, for that program what we need is first of all we need to get the uh, we need to get the address which is stored in the location uh, fffc and fffd so this is the fffc means lower bit 0 uh, 1 and then 0 0 so actually what what is going on is there in the first um, the first first address that the microprocessor will start um, grabbing the code from is stored at this location fffc and fffd here we are here is the lower uh, the lower bits that is 0 1 and 0 0 so our code we will start coding from address 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so in this 0 0 0 1 we are going to start inputting our opcode so uh, i will write a simple program that will be looping that will be that will contain of simple loop that is uh, this is the this address 0001 although here are only uh, 12 bits <coughs> so we can just for now we can just um, forget about this uh, last four bits okay in the 01 i am going to feed in the jump instruction jump instruction the jump instruction 
will the opcode is 4c 4c so 4c in the address bits i have uh, inputted 4c and then i have loaded it so as we can see 4c has been loaded into the memory 4c has been loaded into the memory now in the next i will load where it should jump it should jump to its own location so in the next address 00020003 i will put 001 and 00 so it will jump on itself so in the second location i am going to put one this one is this one has been inputted and on the third this 03 address i am going to feed in 00 so we can see our whole program 01 is 4c okay and then next is 01 and next is at location 0003 it is 0 okay so now i'll press reset and then i will uh, start the execution so initially some information has is being um, uh, displayed after some iterations some cycles the microprocessors jumps to the location and as we can see these are the address bits so the location is being iteratively jumped from 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 because it is running by itself and here we can see that 4c is coming yes 4c 4c 10 4c 10 4c 10 we can also uh, decrease the size, uh, speed of the clock and the here we can see 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 the address bits and the data bits corresponding to these addresses so this is uh, one simple program now i am going to give you a demo of the chaser program the chaser uh, uh, program that we uh, just so for that what we are going to do is these four leds these are actually the last four bits of the address bus so in order to uh, glow any led we are going to uh, either fetch or request memory which corresponds to any of these most significant four bits so these are the most significant four bits and these are the least significant eight bits of the address bus okay so in order to program led chaser what we are going to do is we are going to use a simple uh, opcode a simple operation that is 2c so 2c is our bit opcode and next we are going to put in the last four uh, most significant bits i am going to put is 0 00 and 80 why because this is the address it means 1000000 means this this last one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this means in hexadecimal this many numbers and this means this many bits so now this instruction this particular instruction will glow the last led suppose we have four leds in our board so this last led will glow when we will pass or when we will access this address as one so this bit 0080 this code will make this one led glow for once next we want to glow this one led so for that we will be using 2c0040 i guess you got the point that this is 4 and this is 0 and these zeros will come here so similarly 
with this instruction this led will glow with this instruction this led will glow with the next instruction that is 2c0020 this led will glow and 2c0010 this led will glow and then we will say jump that is 4c and uh, uh, 4c0100 why because this address uh, this opcode is fed to this 01 address that is 0001 address which is this one which is pointing to this so jump to this address and then this will say glow this led this three line of code will say glow this led this three line of glow this led this this and jump again so what will happen is that one by one the leds will start glowing so let us uh, let us start programming it so the the first bit let me put into stop mode and then in the first we got to feed the 2c wait 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 2c of code is fed in this so we have already fed this one in address 0 1 2 3 4 i am writing the addresses here 5 6 7 8 i mean to say a b c d e and f So this one 2C we have already stored now. 2C has been stored in the address 1, 2C has been stored. Now 0, 2 we have to feed in 0, 0. That is in 2 we have to feed in 0, 0. In 3 we have to feed 8, 0. That is 8, 0. In 3 we have fed 8, 0. So just in Two in one we have two C in two we have zero zero in three we have eight zero. Okay, this many has been fed. Now these instruction set that is in four we have we got to have two C two C okay in five we have we got to have zero zero okay and in six we got to have Four zero. That is four zero. Four zero. In seven, we got to have two C, which we already have two C. In eight, we got to have zero zero. We have zero zero. In nine, we got to have two zero. We have two zero. And in ten, we got to have two C. In 10 we got to have we have 2C in B we got to have 0 0 in C we got to have 1 0 in D we got to have 4C in D we got to have wait in D we got to have 4 C we have 4C in E we get to have 0 1 and in F we got to have 0 0 so now everything looks fine and uh, let us now reset the computer and put it in execution mode few bits are uh, it, it is uh, starting up I just 2 3 as we can see first LED has glowed now the second one has blinked third one has blinked and now fourth one has blinked and now it is going to going to go for the uh, first address and then again the loop has started let us increase the speed of the clock and then we see As we can see that this is the LED chaser program. 
i will be sharing the details of the circuit of this board thank you